Hi everybody, happy holidays. I figured I would do a video about Jesus and Christ consciousness. So the second coming of Christ is you. It will be coming through all of us. It is a massive activation where we are realigning ourselves back to the Christ stream. So this has nothing to do with religion. Now I'm going to go into quite a few things in this video. And if you're interested in this kind of concepts, I have a brand new course coming up. It's on 50% off right now, and it is Stargate Ascension and Alchemy, because it really is the path of being Christed and moving yourself back into universal consciousness. So Jesus Christ isn't coming back. The second coming of Christ is all of us being activated in the same way that Jesus was activated. Now, it doesn't happen just automatically. We have to do our inner work. We have to merge our inner energies into zero point because the Christed energy actually is not a masculine energy. And because it is the light, we can call that the masculine. But without, without the feminine, which is the sound, the geometries creating, sparking that light then we don't have the Christ stream. So the Christ stream also flows down from the source field, right? From zero point, from God, source, creator, whatever you want to call this force. This force flows down through all dimensions and expresses itself in a multitude of ways, right? It fractals out into many different beings, archetypes, gods, goddesses, um, animals, right? And each of us, right? So multitude of layers. So this Christ stream, we are always connected to because it's in us. It's inside us, right? Nothing is ever outside of yourself. That is a facade by, you know, control structures like churches, like, like religion, to try to keep you separate from your power. But the power is inside you. Right? But of course they want to create that fear and they want you coming to a middleman to give you that connection to Jesus or to God. You were always a child of God, of the creator of the universe. And that literally, that energy flows through every one of your atoms, every one of your cells. You are already Christed. Now the problem is, is that we come in here with so many traumas, with so many um, things that keep us separate in that duality. As soon as you have duality of good versus bad, right? Right versus wrong, female versus male. All of that duality, that division really keeps you from the Christ dream. Because the Christ dream is always going to be neutral. It is always going to be in the center. And so you are already Christed. Now, we just need to come back into alignment with all of our macrocosm selves and our microcosm, right? When we come back into alignment, then all these parts of yourself are activated, all this dormant DNA, right? This is ascension. This is what the whole point is. And it's also embodiment. So... You know, there's a lot of people that, that call themselves, oh, I, I'm Jesus reincarnated. Well, no, you're not. Um, you know, everyone says that. And the reason for that is because we do merge with, with the, the ascended master that was Jesus. And if you feel that energy moving through you, that's amazing, right? Um, that is one of our archetypes that we will merge with. And actually, it's interesting, in 2017, that was actually my merge with Jesus, um, after many, many other layers of merging with other archetypes and other um, aspects of the Godhead. And it, it's interesting because that all those paintings and pictures that you see of him, his face, that is what he looks like. Um, now, remember, no, no one is going to be the same being that was Jesus. And that's because we are, the universe is always expanding. So we are always an, an individualized expression of the Godhead. 
And every time, right, every year that goes by, the universe is always shifting. So from 2,000 years ago to now, the collective consciousness field is shifted compared to when Jesus was born. Now that means that, right, all of us are coming from the same collective field, which is that Christ consciousness, right? So it's not a guy. It's not, um, you know, it's not connected to Jesus, uh, except for Jesus, along with other ascended masters over the past thousands of years. So he wasn't the only one. But other, other humans were able to also activate this Christ consciousness energy within themselves and be able to transcend being just a human, right? This is what's going on right now with each and every one of us. This is how major this is, right? Ascension is not just being able to activate some psychic abilities and that's it. No, we are merging with the entire multiverse of multiverses. And we are merging spirit into physical matter. When you merge the feminine and masculine of the divine creator, so not the small individualized feminine masculine, but on all layers, when you go back to that zero point, that is literally you back into alignment with all aspects of yourself, all the way up on every single level. So that's how amazing Ascension is. We are all becoming enlightened being, beings, which is why we're going to be coming out of this mess in the world, right? And, and we're going to be seeing beyond this in the world. So a lot of people kind of get stuck with just, you know, consuming information and knowledge, but they don't realize that the path of Christ consciousness is beingness, is doing it. Okay, you have to actually integrate these energies into the physical and express them in our everyday life, in every moment. That beautiful energy of love, healing, right? Of helping one another, right? It's, there's many different aspects of the Godhead. And this also helps with creativity. So it's not just about service to others and you just go around, you know, supporting the entire collective, right? That's also a part of it. But this Christ consciousness stream is your source energy. This is you. This is your soul on all levels. When you connect back on every single level of yourself, you are going to be a completely different person. You're going to have amazing creativity, genius coming through you. You will have the energy and the confidence and the knowingness about everything. And you will be able to express that amazing Christ consciousness through you in every moment and activate everyone around you so it's palpable right uh, when i talk about ascension it's not just the small thing it will take over your entire life because we have to realign ourselves as we align ourselves more and more and more to our authentic truth which is our core self which is the christ stream that we have just been separated from and again we're not separate from it, but we have been blocked from it because of our own traumas and our own uh, limiting beliefs. And of course, um, if you come from a, from a religious background, that could also be a huge reason because, you know, you're always told that something is outside of you. And, it, you know, we literally have to just dissolve all of these limiting beliefs that we've had for eons. And it's really difficult. And we also have to rearrange our life, right? We have to ensure that everything we do is in alignment with this Christ stream. So it, it involves a complete change of your entire identity, right? The individual little me of the ego really um, merges with the whole entire collective field of the all presence of everything. And... You still have free will, right? We always have free will. So you're not turning into some, you know, robot. What's happening is, is the opposite. You are becoming so conscious. You're becoming super conscious beyond that. And so what happens is all of the automatic programming in you will come up for healing, right? But again, we're, this is already going on. This is, um, you know, this is ascension and embodiment. So, but you will still hold your free will, right? Even when you're, when you are a Christed being. 
The difference is your free will merges into divine will. So when you merge with multiple levels of the Godhead, of these amazing energies, level by level by level, right? These are massive plasma fields, right? Stars, galaxies, universes, literally going to be embodied within your individual self. This is how ridiculous it gets. Oh, and again, if you're interested, check out my course because I'll be going into all this a lot more in detail. But when we merge with the universal consciousness, our free will really becomes divine will. And it's not because we have to, it's because we just wouldn't, other, wouldn't do something else that's just very ego-based, right? We just don't, we no longer have that desire. But you might the odd time, but then, right, these things really don't, don't matter. All these small little things that people worry about really just dissolve. And you become a conduit of the divine for great change in the world. This is how amazing it is. So becoming Christed is you aligning back into your core self. Not just with your soul, but the oversoul and the avatar level and the, the level of beyond stars and galaxies and universes, right? Right now we are living in the end of an era. And I'm talking about tens of thousands of years era. So when we... Um, back in 2012, which actually, um, if you watch my video, probably really is the moment right now, 2021. We are in such an end of a cycle of cycles of cycles of cycles. So we are literally in alignment to zero point of completion on many, 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 many levels of universal time continuums. Which means we are in the photon belt. We are in a stream of energy, of, of the Christ of consciousness energy, streaming right down from God, from the source field, right? This is, a, this is the field of consciousness that is in that, you know, complete creator energy, right? So we can think of this as uh, levels beyond the 12th dimension. So, so the 12th dimension really is just a whole cycle back unified, right? So we have all these different fractals of dimensions that come out but when we have when we exist in all 12 dimensions we go beyond that right again we are never just stagnant universe our consciousness is always expanding the 12 dimensions is kind of just a very simple way to kind of th um, um, kind of look at it where w when we exist in that 12 dimensions all at once right multi-dimensional embodied into this physical body that is really you are now a whole entire universal being completely unified on every level and you've healed all your karma so you are now really a child of the universe not just of this earth plane with all this karma right and all this collective karma you have surpassed all of these levels of karma and you are free to you know reincarnate to move around the entire multiverse to um, create anything you want, right? Create stars, create galaxies, right? So you become a universal being, which is, you know, mind boggling. For myself, I've, I've been in, been in the state for about four or five years. So I'm still just, just at baby steps learning. You have to get rid of all limiting beliefs about what could be true about the way reality works, the way the universe works, because it is mind boggling. And if you limit yourself with, oh, that's impossible, then you won't achieve the level, the potential that you could in this lifetime because we are all being Christed. So every one of us is going to become this universal being where we are completely merged with our feminine and masculine energies, right? Divine masculine, divine feminine, not just our individualized but on every level and you become unified. So you exist in zero point. You're, you no longer have that duality, separation consciousness, the polarized um, perception of life, because that really is just karma that you haven't merged with yet. You haven't neutralized. But the whole point of being a Christ of being and holding this, you know, flowing this Christ and energy through you is to become a conduit of the divine, to make change in this world, to really 
elevate this world into higher consciousness, to activate people, to bring this entire planet and this entire solar system, right? Because it's not just us on planet Earth. Our, this entire area of the galaxy is being upgraded. And this was all, you know, this isn't just random. This is all meant to be because this planet really got so out of alignment, so out of balance because people were so off the center point of their Christ dream, which is why we have all the problems in the world. So all of us are being Christed right now. This is what ascension is, right? It's a whole process. And th this beautiful Christ of consciousness energy flows through everything that is organic. Okay. So anyone that, that again, right, when the church you know, tries to call anything except for Jesus or Christ, well, that's Lucifer. And I see a lot of people talking about, oh, you know, you're just channeling Lucifer or this and that. Well, well, I don't channel, number one. But, um, and again, that is an issue, right? People are channeling parasitic beings, these trickster beings, these, you know, Luciferian beings that really are of the fourth dimension, that are in, in separation, that have been separated from the Christ dream. Okay, so um, I'll be talking about that actually in a whole other video because it is getting rampant because people haven't done their own inner cleansing, their own inner merging. So unless you are realigned into your core self and have done a lot of work, the beings you're channeling are very low dimensional beings. They sound legit, right? They'll call themselves Archangel Michael or this or that. And the issue is, is that they will sound amazing so people just follow whatever they say right and that's opposite of being christed being christed is being a complete sovereign being you don't listen to any old being that shows up okay it means that you are completely guided by your own internal guidance you don't ever listen to outside anything whether you're channeling whether it's coming through a client during you know a quantum hypnosis session, um, whether it's coming from a psychic, right? You remember, all, unless the person is literally uh, connected through multiple layers, right to the right to source, that person has all of their own filters that filters the information, right? They're, they are, well, again, I'm going to go, I'm going to, I'm going off topic here. So I'm going to talk about that in a whole other video because it is an issue right now with a lot of people getting completely off track. So being Christed is not about knowing anything, right? It's not about channeling. It's about merging with all levels of consciousness inside you. And that knowingness, that love just overflows, right? You become a complete um, open source energy conduit. So it's not about being a closed loop system. It's about being an open loop system, which means that your energy is constantly in expansion and contraction, expansion, contraction, right? That's how source exists. It always has to come back and the contraction is to come back into zero point. Then it expresses itself and, and expands out again. And then it comes back into alignment and then expands out again. Anyone that tries to say that in connection with nature, for example, but I see a lot of people that are commenting about, oh, you know, those are Luciferian energies. Well, no, right? That is, again, another ploy by the church to try to suppress the feminine, right? The feminine being Mother Nature, Mother Earth, right? All of the nature. And that's because they want to destroy nature, okay? So whenever you see someone, you know, trying to claim that, you know, nature... Uh, elementals or you know spirits of elements things like that are luciferian they're not christ that person is just hasn't done the work right so there's a lot of confusion going on because a lot of people just you know believe whatever they read in some holy book well jesus never wrote the book right we have to realize that these books were written by outside observers and then change many times as well, right? So you gotta remember, when someone is observing from outside and is not connected to their own Christ stream, they are just interpreting what they believe 
through their own filters. The Bible and stuff was changed many times to accommodate and to try to suppress the feminine, right? Because if you don't have the feminine, if you ignore that feminine aspect of yourself, right, that which is half of your aspects, right, you are half feminine and half masculine, you merge them together, now you go beyond that, right? It's, it's literally the Christed divine child being birthed by the merging of the two. And so the church, of course, and, uh, and, and many religions have suppressed the feminine, right? It's still going on today. And that's because the feminine is what you need to activate the Christ consciousness individually in yourself. It's also to destroy our planet because these beings that are parasitic beings need to feed off of energies. And so the, the less organic, beautiful Christed energies on this planet, things that are organic, that are in the Christ stream, then they have a better time, right? So again, I'm not going to get into too much on this video. But just realize that you are, just like Jesus, you are going to be activating just like that. And you are going to be mind-boggled by your ability to work with the elements and become, you merge with everything. So now you can align with the divine and be a conduit of change and amazing Christed energies in this planet, which is really this planet needs all the light it can right now. But you need that merging of the feminine as well, that the sound, which is the feminine, sparks the light, which is the Christed energy. So only together will you get the light, the feminine and masculine together. So I hope you learned a little bit today. And again, if you're interested, I have that Stargate Ascension and Alchemy course. It's on 50% off right now for $111. It's a six week course. So I'll be going into massive detail on many different levels, right from the beginning, step by step into very advanced levels. So um, that'll be on sale probably till the end of the month. So make sure you guys um, get that right now. If you're interested in learning a lot more about this, because it's already happening to you. <laughs> but that's also on my website and please also join for free my website it's a whole social media platform and we have hundreds of amazing people just like you from all over the world meet your soul family there earth1111.com thanks so much make sure you share the video subscribe to my channel and like the video and all that we'll see you very soon and happy holidays i'm roxanne this has been earth 1111 thank you bye-bye